I'm here at San Vicente Church in Barragada with the Santa Maria Camelin statue right behind me. And as the patron saint of Guam makes her graceful entourage around the island, I speak with some of the faithful on how they're feeling this special day. A prayerful moment. San Vicente Church head priest Father Joel de los Reyes leading the crowd as this woman waves a white handkerchief. I pray for, honestly, to, uh, I'm very thankful. Uh, I know our island, our people are very thankful for persevering uh, during the pandemic especially. A time for healing for parishioners like May Mandiola sharing she lost her husband to COVID-19 two years ago. But it's through this community and her faith, her connection to him remains strong. I'm thankful to God because throughout it all, he's, he never left us. He never abandoned us. So I'm very thankful. Nearby at St. Dominic's Senior Care Home, this family gathers to see the patron saint of Guam. 20-year-old Heather Rages excited to receive her blessings. Feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. We came from Jigo, so we kind of she kind of just passed us, so we had to like find our way to um, see her, see her. so we stopped by here. The Rages family coming down to Barragada from Jigo to see the Lady of Cameron. Heather's mother, Michelle Rages, sharing they nearly missed their chance to be a part of this glorious moment. We actually were trying to get to the Jigo church, um, but she came, she actually came on time. So we were caught in traffic. And uh, as soon as she hit the uh, Barragada uh, down there in um, Harmon area, we were able to come here before she did. It's been a family tradition, but with some loved ones away on military duty this holiday season, the Rages family is here praying for their safe return home. Prayers from 12-year-old Kyrie Rages for her parents and brother all serving in the Army. I prayed for my dad and mom and brother in the States, and hopefully I get to see them sometime. A prayer and message she's sending to them in Colorado. I hope you guys are doing good and I love and miss you guys so much. A love that thousands more across the island and Guamanians around the road share the Santa Maria and Camelin Day. Matsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.